What's up guys? My name is Lorcon. Welcome back to the channel and to ESO. So we are finishing up this character which just needs to do the last part of the tribunal temple. And then we'll be focusing on the uh, Wolfie the Eternal, which I might actually change his name, <laughs> believe it or not. Some of my own children have betrayed me. I am rarely an angry god, but this time there shall be a reckoning. How can I help? Rage consumes me. The Moorborn invade my home. They attack my children. They attack me. You have proven yourself loyal and capable. I call upon you to serve me once more. I'm honored, sacred lady. The Moorborn penetrated the temple and opened a portal into oblivion. Even now, Daedra swarm within its hallowed halls. Such sacrilege must not stand. What should I do? Banish the Daedra that defile our temple. Defeat them, and then make your way to my altar. While you slay their minions, I shall determine what the Moorborn are really up to. Now go, and carry my divine rage with you. Okay. I love the artwork in in these games. one
All right, so we need to go over here. I sense the temple is free of the Daedric incursion. We are well pleased. While you fought for my glory, I learned more about our foes. What have you found out? <clears throat> Magistrix Vox used Daedric magic to split the seams of the wards around the High Chapel. Then she opened an Oblivion Gate to fill the temple with Daedra. What can I do? You need to get into the High Chapel. Vox managed to bypass the defenses, but its wards are still in place, drawing on the full power of the Tribunal. We must get you past those wards. How do I get in? Without the blessing of each of the three, no mortal may pass through the wards and enter the High Chapel. You have more than proven yourself to me. You have my blessing already. How do I get the blessings of the other gods? Go to the cloisters of Vivek and Sothasil. My companion gods are absent, but they left trials I can activate to grant their blessings. Pass the trials, and you will be blessed. Okay. Alright. So, I can't remember which is... Vivex and Sothasils. Hold on. Alright, better. <laughs> Okay, so this is the vet. Oh no, so the cells. So the seal values intelligence and ingenuity. He builds, he maintains, he is the master of his creations. He shall test these qualities in you. How do I receive so the seal's blessing? My goodness. So the seal has devised a test that allows him to learn more about you each time you complete it. You are to repair one of his clockwork toys, and then break it. I have to fix something, and then just so I can destroy it? All gears turn like the hurling disc. All artifice is ephemeral. And at times, parts are of more use than the whole. There. Divine wisdom. Does that satisfy you? Very. I need three of these, and then five of these. No. There we go. surpassed the Arbiter's trap. In doing so, you've revealed yourself to us. You do not fully comprehend. Such is your imperfection. Are you Sothasil? We are the imperfection of Sothasil. 
excised from his being, yet never truly apart. We measure the indulgence of inspiration against the necessities of progression. You will never know. You are not Sothaseel. Why do, did I have to destroy the Arbiter? Perfection can never truly be attained. By testing one's constantly degrading mechanism against this unknowable goal, you reveal the imperfections of your own device. Can you accept this necessity? Yes, I accept it. Comprehending the necessity of imperfection, you have earned the blessing of Sothaseel. Cool. Vivek's trial will measure your clarity of judgment. He saw our blessed people through vexing times. His wisdom reveals the secrets others keep. So shall yours be put to the test. How do I receive Vivek's blessing? Vivek's teachings often take the form of allegories and tales. His lessons are learned by listening and then acting. His challenge exemplifies that approach. You must listen, then act. A temple worker named Varman dueled Belron and Telvani, slaying him before witnesses. But Varman was a loyal spy. To incite such discord was against his nature. As Vivek did, speak with Varman. Determine who truly slew the Telvani. My lord Vivek, I bear the most grievous news. Belrun and Telvani challenged me to a duel of blood. I regret to say, I won. It was a small cut upon the arm, enough to settle the matter. But he fell dead. Tell me of these troubles. I was advising Tolnus and Galtzer when the others arrived, Belrun and full of anger, Fenila a sneer on her lips, and Morami resigned to what came next. Belronan claimed I'd interfered in his affairs. He insisted I knew what he meant. Had you given him a, have you had, had you given him a reason to be correct? Of course not. I told him so, but he claimed it a lie and challenged me to a first blood duel. Then everything turned to death. My blade ended his life and directly caused his turmoil. Your hands I guided. I will submit to your judgment, Lord Vivek. Your hands guided another's plot. None can blame you. Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Though my blow caused Belronan's death, it was set in motion by another hand. I will aid you in discovering the source of this duel, if you will it. As you say, Varman. Belronan's corpse remains where it fell in the duel. The only wound he bears is a tiny cut on his arm. There is a there is a crumpled note tucked into his belt. The crumpled note threatens to bring Belronin's her heretical trade endangered relics to the attention of the tribunal, and if Telmani does not pay, letter is signed V, but bears no distinct marks. Meditate upon the duality of the Sept. Okay. Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me its contents were vile. One sworn to the temple, quibbling over coin. You should kill him yourself, my lord. You desire Varman's death. None doubt your abundance of Kendor. Fenila lent Belronan her blade before the duel. I insisted Vaman and Belronan swap weapons. You would think she was Ash Mountain the way she fumed. Fenilia's blade killed Belronan. Your words illuminate more than just your pettiness. A tragedy, Lord Vivek. Belronan's death in the temple brings great shame to his house. 
I had thought reasoned words could dissuade him from the duel. Such temper is common to House Telvanni, but it's not my place to question their reliability. You could doubt your art art artless certainty. Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live if not for Fenila. She stoked the Telvanni's rage, urging him not to back away from an insult to his honor. She called herself his friend. Curious way to show it. Vinyla urged the duel to happen. Curious, as you say. Vinyla's words are incorrect, Lord Vivek, though she clearly believes them. I haven't contacted Balronan for months, and would never have done so without your direction. Wealth has no meaning next to serving you, my lord. This you know to be true. Service drives you, Vaman. You could not have written that note. Your word is unquestioned. I am here to command. Though my blow caused Belronin's death, it was... Your word is unquestioned. I am... Lord Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live... Vanilla lent Belronin her blade before the duel. I insisted. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Morami sold me poison yesterday. I'd planned to hunt cliff races next week, but decided this was a better way to get rid of vermin. So I poisoned the blade. Bel My lord, the life of... Rami, huh? A tragedy, Lord Vivek. Belrona. Of course, I sold her poison. As your keen eye no doubt realized, the writing on Varman's note to Belronin was my own. He sold forbidden relics, so I gave him the tools to shame himself and his house. I'm delighted he took me up on it. Your actions led to Bel Belronin's death. I did nothing but provide opportunity for a heretic to destroy himself. The act of dueling anyone within the temple would undo him. It's only fitting the Fetcher did so with the tools I presented, and with such finality. You lost control of your attempt to, di to discredit Belronin. You bear the most blame for his death. You walked in our skin and wrought our judgment. You exposed the lie at the core of all truth. This may be lost on you. It does not matter. Are you Vivek? We are echoes of Vivek. Nothing more. All things less. We recall the wisdom of his judgment, which differed from your own. You could not know. You are not Vivek. Who did Vivek choose? Both. Neither. We rewarded Vanilla for her cunning. Yet House Redoran suffered for poisoning a Telvani in another's duel. We flayed Morami for her actions, yet elevated House Hlalu for its actions in exposing a heretic. Can you accept this truth? Yes, I accept it. Through your wisdom and judgment, you have earned Vivek's favor. Receive our blessing.
I felt a burst of power from the temple and ventured within, fearing the worst. But you've prevailed. What have you discovered? The Molborn sacrificed their own troops so that Vox could escape with the judgment of Veloth. I will discover what powers the judgment of Veloth possesses and why Vox has stolen it. In the meantime, you must pursue Magistrix Vox. For your heroism and service this day, I name you a Hand of Armalexia. Go with my blessing upon you. I felt a... I was... As Vox fled Mournhold, she went east. With the recent troubles, the Ordinators are on high alert. One of them saw her headed that way. Then I'll head east. To the east of Mournhold lies Selfora, a quiet village known for its independent spirit. Vox almost certainly passed through there. Start on... your search in Selfora. Then I'm on my way. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. And next episode, I will actually be doing going going back on my main character since that's where I last left off. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe your thoughts. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.